All right, it's a Monday, April 19th. We're here in Siler City, North Carolina. Let's check this little town out and see how it's doing. See how the business is doing since 2020-21 was such a big old mess. I passed this town on my way to the Devil's Trapping Ground. I did a little video out there this morning. So I decided to come on back and check it out. And we'll walk both sides of the streets. We'll start right here at Fragrance 2. Looks like they're open and ready for business. Got some new sidewalks here. Got the Twin Birch and Fiber Art in there. It's closed though, so. I don't know if they went out of business. They still got the windows fixed up. But you'd think they would be open today. These businesses have to open up if they want to get people in. People that's not going to come in here and do a hit or miss when they come to these little towns. I think there's a great opportunity for these little towns now that the malls have started, started to close because of online shopping. And people still want a destination to go to, and these small towns can fix themselves up and be that destination for independent businesses. We can't rely on big corporate businesses for everything. We have to have our independent businesses. Across the street there, you can see the old Hotel Hadley. Man, that does look like an old one right there. Got a beauty supply store was in the bottom, but the whole place is for rent now. That'd be a great opportunity for somebody. Siler City is now a suburb basically of Greensboro. But in the past, it's had a big poultry business and uh, had a lot of uh, immigrants coming here to work. And so the population is mixed now. It looks like they're doing some building here. So I think they got some big plans for this town. This town is also where Aunt B from the Mayberry Show came to retire. She's buried here as well. Yeah, lining the sidewalks with trees, that's good. Yeah, this whole row is getting ready to be something. They put the windows back in, that's good. Wind's blowing today, so you may hear some choppy noise from the wind hitting the mic, but we'll just do the best we can do. Carter Bank and Trust across the way there. Got that whole corner. Looks like a travel business right here on my right. Insurance business in this building. You can tell there's a pretty large it's a mixed bag right now of open and closed businesses. We'll walk around a corner here and look at the back. So we're on Birch and West Raleigh now. You can see my RV down there parked uh, behind those buildings. Came all the way down to the end of the street and we'll walk back up. That's a Raleigh Street Gallery across the way there. This building on my right is a Collins and King Countess. Yeah, but that, that whole block on that left side over there, looks like they've got big plans for that. So I'm interested to find out what that's going to be. Got the wicked barrel cafe here in this nice old building. Let it bit the dust like so many. That looked like a nice place to eat too, you know. Got the old counter there. Got an old mural here on the side of the building. I like those old murals. Let's look down the back alleyway there. The town's clean so far, even though it's got some old buildings. Got a barber I just passed on the right. He's sitting in his chair talking on his phone. Ain't nobody in there, so. I won't say the name of it, but go in there and give the old boy some, some of your business.
boutique right here. It says, come in. We're upstairs. Just let me know you are here or ring the bell. I don't know about all that. That's not the way to do business in my opinion. You need to be open and feel like a good doors need to be welcoming. Back up on the corner now. Got another mural off to the distance there. We'll check that out. We're going to turn right now. Got a hair company here. Walk-ins welcome. Nice big salon there. Money transfers here. So, yeah, I think they have a big immigrant population and I imagine they make transfers back home from this building maybe. Another yeah Latino Western Union store I imagine. Another insurance company. Another Latino business here. It's like a hair salon, yeah. Another insurance company. Got a couple of empty businesses here. Looks like there's a big store in here at one time. Chopped up. Looks like some offices was in there at one time. It's run down, but this would be a good place for a business. I imagine they had some retail stores there at one time. Looks like it was probably one big business. Probably had nice windows decorated up, you know, with the products in, in them. I always like to see that, but now it's got a lot of trash out here. This looks terrible. It's falling in. It's not good. Looks like it might even be a church now, according to that. Open house. Hello, spring. I don't know what that is. It's a dog in here. It's a vendor market. Okay, so I guess you can go in. Rent vendor space in there. I don't see much in there right now. There's downtown automotive. I'm going to have to look back on the building. Got another mural here. Let's take a look at that. Yeah, I like this mural. It's kind of showing you what the town looked like back in the day. Got a couple there walking. You can see the streets were dirt back then. Old stores horse yeah let it rain back then you had a mess I'm sure all right we'll cross back over and pick it up on the other side so there's that old building I said I thought it was a church but I think it's nothing right now the windows are open it's, it's falling apart that just that really looks bad hate to see that Looks like they attempted to have some type of park here at one time. They got a little circle around it. I don't know, nothing's there now. Built this little building. Like an entrance area. Showing some people playing music. I don't know what this story is. Oasis Market. I don't know, maybe the weekends they have a little farmer's market there. That, that'd probably work. Oh, another building. Looks like it's closed. market just passed like they're getting ready to open it up another money orders and 
whatnot in there. You can buy goods in there. Another little Latino store. Some more carts out here. I find that unusual to be on the street. I don't know. I don't think that looks good. Another building with cracked windows here. And, yeah, this building has been turned into a church, if it's still a church, but it looks rough. Let's take a, just for reference, we're back on the square again. And uh, that's where I went down and showed my RV in the back of the building. We're coming back up the street now, and we came down that side over there. Now we're going to take a right. Got Ace Hardware on the other side there, but it... I don't know if it's open or not. We'll go around, we'll see. Hair world. Nothing that's closed. Uh, I think there's stuff in there, but there's no sign. It's not looking good for this town, really, for business, I think. I mean, they're trying, I guess. Maybe they'll get there. Let's go over here. So across the street now, that's the way I came from that direction down there. That's their post office right there. That's a nice building they got in town with their post office. Let's look at uh, another one of their back streets, their Siler City Pharmacy. We got some more buildings down there, but they look boarded up too, so I'm not gonna go any further. This is closed, it once was a bank. And then we have the Chatham Cares Community Pharmacy for people here. It's open. Counseling service. Another hair studio. Closed. <clears throat> Can't make any money that way. Is Zenith Butler furniture just packed full of stuff? Oh, well, that might be part of the Ace Hardware. I see it is open. You go inside right here. Yeah, sounds town has definitely seen better days, but with people moving into the area, it may make a comeback. All right, we'll pick it up at the corner. We're back at the corner now at Carter Bank and Trust, looking back at the post office, the way we came back down here. We're gonna take a right now. There's the, all the work they were doing on the left side. So they've updated the sidewalks in this section here. So I guess we're gonna work in this area first, getting it built back up. Like I say, the town's basically basically become a suburb of Greensboro I believe it's a nice little sitting area under this tree I could fix that up better put some seating back there maybe paint some murals on the wall that'd look nice <clears throat> got a place called the hangout high school and college, college students only so, looks like it might have a religious tone to it. This building is closed, whatever it is. Here's an old hotel. I like this hotel. I don't know what year that was built. Hey, you can imagine people sitting out there when this town was doing better. Maybe drinking a drink or something. Chasing periwinkle. Wild women chasing periwinkle. I don't know what that's all about. 
Y'all tell me. <clears throat> Mother. Church. In one of these old buildings. That's nice planters out in front here, but there's no business inside. I don't know if they're doing any work there or not. A lot of opportunity here, I believe. Another beautiful building, but they... I don't know. I painted it yellow at one time. It needs to be updated. But, uh, yeah, nice building. You see how it's got that vaulted ceiling there with all that? I don't know if you call that vaulted, but it's curved. I don't know if you can see that. Looks like it's metal, like tin work up there with design, designs on it. So yeah, need to fix that back up. There's a look back up uh, Second Street here. There's the corner. That says fragments too. Fragrant? No, it's not that. <laughs> fragments that's where we started there's old mill business maybe down there or some kind of large business but it's closed now whatever it was we'll cross it over and check this side out another Latino business here looks like this whole town is basically basically has Latino businesses in it now so I I'm assuming most of the population Latino. I'm assuming I don't know. What do I know? <laughs> Probably a good mix. See this fragments again? Previous appreciated artwork, home decor, and finishings. So they got two stores here. We got the North Carolina Arts Incubator over there. Play coffee, community shop, Chatham Rabbit. It's a big building here. It looks like it could have been a shopping center at one time. Wind is all busted out. phone huh yeah I don't get a good feeling about this town right now I mean I'm sure it could change studio studio 227 a bakery here now I bet the bakery's good yeah, it's like a nice store to go in all right I'm gonna stop it here at the tutoring center over there We'll cross over and we'll take one more look back. I may call it over there. Let this car go by. So there's another mural on the other side. I guess this little park's part of that arts place and maybe the coffee house there. So yeah, Siler City, North Carolina. It's a little rundown looking right now, and it's, it needs some businesses to pop in here. A lot of good people here. Everybody I talked to has been nice. So I think it can make a comeback. Right now, it needs some help, though. So if you're in town, come on by here. Give them a visit. Visit some of the shops that are open. There's a big rabbit. Just saw that off to the side. I like that. And those reptiles right there. Looks like they're trying to pull in a lot of art here. So yeah, come on by. Check them out. I hope you like this walking tour. If you did, like, subscribe, and share. Y'all take care.